Welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name is Stemmatina, but everyone calls me Stam. It's a little bit easier than my long name. But today's video is going to be something a little bit fun. So it is going to be pretty much a how to get that summer bronzy glowy skin in the middle of winter. Let's get straight into it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin. So I am going to pop on the Maybelline Face Studio Primer. This one is the hydrating one. So it's super hydrating on the skin. It's really going to help in winter time because my skin is not feeling that great at the moment. So I'm just going to really massage that into my skin. My skin already feels so much more hydrated. Oh my god, it's so good. And for foundation, I am going to take the Dream Satin Liquid. This one is in the shade 24 Golden Beige. And this one here is amazing because it is a satin finish, so it's not too matte. So it's still going to give a little bit of a dewy look to the skin. And it's also really hydrating. And I'm just going to blend that in. I like this formula because it does have really nice coverage to it, even though it's super lightweight. So it still feels like you're not really wearing anything. It still feels like it's your skin and nothing too heavy, but it does cover, which is really, really good because I do have a few blemishes at the moment, as you can tell from this bad boy. So I'm just buffing a layer on first. And then if I need to build up the coverage anyway, I can do that or I can use a concealer depending on how much extra coverage I'm going to need. Okay, so I've pretty much covered every sort of blemish that I have on my skin at the moment except for this one stubborn one right here. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of concealer on that and I am going to grab the Master Conceal. This one is in the shade 30 Light Medium and I'm going to pop a small amount of that on my hand and I'm just patting it over the top of the sponge. Alright, so now that the foundation is done, I'm going to pop a little bit of concealer under my eyes and also use it as an eye primer as well. So what I'm going to do is grab the Maybelline Age Rewind. This one is in the shade Medium. This one is amazing for the under eyes. It doesn't crease. It's got full coverage. It's nice and brightening. It's nice and hydrating as well, so it doesn't feel too dry or too matte under the eye. So I'm just going to use a bit of this. I'm just going to wind it up a little bit. And I'm just going to start popping a little bit on under here doing it in a little bit of a v shape just so that we get that really nice lift with the cheekbones and i'll just pop a little bit over the eye and do the same thing on the other side and i also like to highlight other areas of my face so i always do a small amount just in the center of my forehead here then i do a small amount on the very bridge of my nose which will give it a nice lift and a tiny little bit on that little tip of the nose which will give that a lift as well and then i do a little bit here on my cupid's bow and then a little bit here on the chin as well and i'm just going to blend all this out with my sponge Kind of tapping it through, making sure it's blended into the skin. You can also use your finger or I really like to use the little sponge at the end of here just to blend that out as well. It's completely up to you how you prefer to use it. Just give this a blend as well through here. Alright, and now for the fun part. So we're going to add a little bit of a bronzy glow to the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my City Bronzer, which is a bronzer and contour powder, kind of like in one. So this one is in the shade Medium Cool. So what I do is I start up here on my forehead and blending that into the hairline. So you can already see it's giving a bit of a sort of shadow a little bit of a sun-kissed look, kind of like you've just been out in the sun and got a really nice tan. And doing the same through the other side. And I just make sure that I always connect right up here on my forehead. You just want to make sure everything's nice and blended. And I bring that along my temple down to my cheekbone. Kind of go through this side. So coming into the middle part here, we just go just under the cheekbone. So we want it really nice and blended out. And then bring it under the jaw as well. And go through and do the same with the other side. And with any sort of bronzer or contour, you always got to bring it upwards because you want to bring a lift to the face rather than bringing it down, which is going to cause the face to drag down, which no one wants that. And 
And for blush, I want to do something a little bit more natural. So I'm going to grab the Fit Me blush in the shade Coral. So this one is pretty much bang on perfect. It is really soft, really subtle. Okay, and now for my favorite part, the highlighter. So I'm going to pick up the Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. This I have been obsessed with for a while. Like, look at that. That is just like, it is like gold. It is so pretty. And I'm just going to pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh. Take a second with how gorgeous that is. So I'm going to bring it up through here and then I'll bring it a little bit back towards my temple just to keep it nice and blended. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to pop a little bit down at the bridge of my nose. And then the same with the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin and a little bit on the forehead just to keep the skin nice and glowy. Right, so that is pretty much the base done. And now I'm just gonna throw on a bit of mascara, a bit of brows, and a little bit of a lip color on. All right, so now the mascara is on, I'm going to pop a little bit of a lip color on. So I'm going to grab one of the Color Sensational lipsticks. The name of this one is called Baddest Beige. It's such a cute name. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. That is the base done. So I definitely love doing dewy looks like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Before we leave, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell so you get all the notifications about our future videos. Give this video a thumbs up and pop some comments down below of what videos you want to see next. But hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!